Hey Aquarius, thank you for tuning in for this weekly message with me. Please take whatever resonates, leave whatever don't. Everything may not resonate with everyone because this is a general message, not a personal. If you would like a personal with me, you can definitely book one with me. Um, that information is listed in the description of this video on how to book a personal reading. I am a psychic medium for those who are new here. So in my personal readings, as shown in live Q&A readings, I do not use any cards or any tools. Um, it's not needed with me. Um, so yeah, uh, you could book a personal video session or phone session, however, um, but you can catch me live for a Q&A, a question and answer as well tonight between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Um, that will be every Wednesday and also Saturdays as well. Uh, I will be doing games as well, so definitely tune in for that. Uh, make sure your notification bell is on so you will be notified, Aquarius. Let's see more for Aquarius. Aquarius, thank you. All right, Aquarius. Mm -hmm. Overall energy is the karmic. Third party, relationship, lesson. You could be becoming single from this person. Um, or not dealing with this person anymore. You play chess, not checkers. Okay. Uh, but we have cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negative energy. Remove that junk. Okay. Yes. Uh, remove it. Um, we have verge on the, I mean, what am I reading? Verge about to re reveal and confess. So someone got some tea to share, whether this is you or someone need to tell you something, but someone is very anxious, have an anxiety. They're scared. They're panicking possibly due to what you will say. Um, hmm. Someone could be fearful of you finding out something or vice versa. Show us a message for Aquarius. Let it come out, Aquarius. Cycles, fate, karma, something ending, something beginning. So you, good. We have communicate, compromise, forgive, work it out. So for some of you, um, whatever this is that's about to be revealed, you know, work it out by... Not saying work it out, be with this person, because more than likely it's the karmic. But just hear them out, forgive them. You learn a lesson, move on. Right? Right. All right, so let's see more. Spirit, please show us a message for Aquarius. 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 Aquarius, Aquarius, mm. all right spirit, let's see, show us a message for Aquarius, recent past energy, recent past energy for Aquarius, show us a message for Aquarius, recent past, not a source in reverse, Current energy for Aquarius. Current energy for Aquarius. Current energy. Nine of Wands. Chariot and the Three of Cups. Near future for Aquarius. Near future. Six of Pentacles. Uh -uh. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Bottom of the deck. The Magician. So you're a true manifester. You're an alchemist. But I don't know what's going on here. Let's get more details on this message. All right, so you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. Not the Knight of Swords in reverse. Just a moment. All right, so you have the Knight of Swords in reversing your your recent past. Something um, came to a stop. Mm. I 
feel like you are impatient with something or someone. You could have been you could have been spiraling out of control due to this. Due to not knowing what is going on, due to not knowing or not having the information that you it's like you your mind, yeah, that's the energy of anxiety, stressing, overthinking. Um this is really giving me like spiraling out of control. Not knowing everything, not knowing the facts of something, so you come to your own assumptions. That's that impatient energy. So I see why they're saying cleansing. You need to cleanse your energy. Um, and your current energy, you have the Nine of Wands, the Chariot, Three of Cups. The Nine of Wands speaks of you standing your ground, persevering through whatever this situation is. Um, but I, I'm also getting like, you could be, it's like due to you not knowing all the information, you could be very guarded, you know, um, looking over your shoulders is definitely giving me that, that anxiety, that energy of the anxiety due to making a move, due to moving forward with something, possibly to reunite with someone. Hmm. In your near future, you have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is definitely... There is no balance with with this person, with this situation. It keep you all out of whack. It keep you all in balance. Keep you all in your head. Um, there's no reciprocity here. No give and take. So, in the near future, they're saying, like, if you was to give this a chance, again, possibly with this karmic, it's not going to be an equal give and take. Show us a message on the Knight of Swords. We have Gemini, Cancer, uh, Virgo, or Gemini with the Magician. Show us more. So, basically, they're saying with the Magician, you have what it takes to manifest what it is that you want out of this situation. You are the true magician here, and this message is showing. Something must end in order for something new to begin. So you're going to have to cleanse this energy, wash it away, forgive, move on. I know it's easier said than done, but, you know, just keep that in mind. So you can, you know, take your steps towards it. Show us more on the Knight of Swords in the recent past. Recent past energy, Knight of Swords for Aquarius. The Knight of Swords, clarify the Knight of Swords. Someone could have been very impulsive. Wow. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah. <laughs> That's given that impulsive energy. Thank you, Spirit. Someone definitely could have been very impulsive and impatient in a recent past. Like committed to going towards something like I have to do. I'm I'm doing it. I'm not thinking too much about it. I'm just going to take action. Um, But someone could be very guarded. Let me see. Show us more on the chariot and the current energy. The chariot. Someone may feel blocked or stuck. Show us more on the chariot with the chariot and the matter wand, nine of wands. Show us more on the chariot and the current energy for Aquarius. The chariot is clarified with the justice in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. Mm. Someone may end up uh, losing their stability, security, their home, or it's just someone's foundation is crumbling. Um, someone is wanting to get out of it or just release this. But there could be a situation. Maybe someone someone just feel like something isn't fair the way things are. Something isn't fair, fair due to how someone treated them, how, how, how things are going now. Someone could feel like it's not fair. Someone may have lost a home or lost their stability some type of way. Someone is trying to move and reunite with someone because of the instability. But someone could be guarded towards you or you towards them. Show us more on the Three of Cups. Three of Cups, current energy for Aquarius. Clarify the Three of Cups. They want to come out. Some of you could be dealing with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show us more on the Three of Cups. Three of Cups. Five of 
five of swords mm -mm. i don't know what this is listen of course i mean i do but what the heck why are you dealing with this the cleansing cleanse your energy as mentioned and I'll say it again throughout this reading. Cleanse your energy because with the Five of Swords coming, the Three of Cups clarifying with the Five of Swords, this is like you reuniting with someone who caused a lot of chaos in your life. So you, are you, you like the drama? Because this is what it's given. It's given like you like chaos. You like drama. Oh, I'm going to just go towards the drama and fight some more, argue some more, get my point across, let them have it. No, you need to cleanse your energy. Don't. Give in to this situation. That's what they want you to do. Or someone could be coming towards you. Causing this chaos. But guess what? The five of swords is your energy. So. It's like. Oh you want some? Oh you really want some? Okay I'm going to let you have it. But. Is it really necessary? Is it good for? Is it? What is it going to bring you? After you. I guess win the fight. The argue. The battle. Like, what, what is it bringing you? Is it bringing you peace? No. Is it bringing you justice? Maybe due to your own pride and ego. But no, not necessarily justice. Because it's still, it's, it's friction. It's problems. It's chaos. It's chaotic. So whoever this karmic energy is, you need to release yourself and be single. If you in a happy marriage relationship, this is not your reading, clearly. This is not your marriage. This is not your reading. For some of you, you could be divorcing. And it's just chaotic. Someone could have brought a third party in the mix of y'all connection and this fights, this arguments due to this. Someone found out. That could be the verge about to reveal, confess. That could have been confessed due to someone figuring some things out. So it could have been you trying to figure out the information, didn't know for sure, but you had some type of feeling that something wasn't right. And this person could have been lying to your face, whatever the case. But by the time they came to you to reveal this, you may have already felt this. You already kind of knew this. Now, it could be the flip side. You could have been caught. But however it is, someone is definitely standing their ground with this situation. It's like someone is um, very guarded towards you or you're very guarded towards this person. Someone is wanting to move on. But it could be it could be an issue with doing that. Did someone... Mm. Show us more on the Six of Pentacles and the near future. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Clarify the Six of Pentacles in reverse for Aquarius. Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is the imbalance, and they're saying to get balance. So they're advising you to have patience with possibly balancing something out. Maybe you're, because the, the eager energy is here. You're eager to hurry something up. You're eager to balance things out for your life so things could be more peaceful. But they're saying, hey, it's going to take time. As long as you're putting in the work. As long as you're putting in the work and, you know, doing what you need to do too. Bring in this peace. It's going to get there. But you just have to realize it's not going to be that quick. So work on bringing that balance in due to your behavior and excluding chaotic behavior from you, from others, whoever is trying to bring that towards you. So you can seek your peace. So you can heal. Balance will be restored, but it's going to take time. And divine timing. It may be a situation where um, money is involved. You feel like someone isn't uh, being fair with you or giving you your money, your share, or whatnot. Um, someone could be constantly taking or you realizing that someone just constantly take, take, take from you. And it's not balanced. There's no equal give and take. It's like they constantly take for you, but... You know, what do they give to you? You giving so much, but they're not giving nothing. Or they're giving a little. It's no balance. But, I don't know. This situation just seems all over the place and it don't seem healthy. I will tell you that. 
Spirit, please show us a message. Dang. <laughs> Soon as. Okay. Uh, Aquarius, we have sabotage, rebuilding, interrogation, repetitive, persistent, working on it. Yes, that's what you need to do. Show us more on this energy for Aquarius. Whoa. Healing heart. Healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationship or addictions. This came up in reverse, and that's why I'm, I'm going to take it in reverse. Because you're needing to heal your heart. Heal from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. Yes, because it's still lingering. And that's why it's in reverse. Because you must work on it. So that's what you're needing to work on. Engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. So this is pertaining to a union. Yeah, that is all out of whack. This is so all out of whack. Lightness, sudden sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. Absolutely. The surprise is this confession from this karmic. Someone is watching watching you however that is ascendant came up in reverse yeah you need to ascend it's like someone is not ascending they're stuck in this this negative energy and that's why cleansing came out as your very first card all right aquarius something must end in order for something to begin here in order in order for you to to turn over a new leaf in order for you to start a new cycle you're gonna have to close the door on this on whatever this is this this union this relationship this karmic relationship it's not healthy for you it's depleting your energy causing anxiety and stress to you causing you to feel uneasy uncleansed so you're gonna have to put you first and realize look this ain't it I can't do this no more I can't do this no more. Release this energy. You must release. Let's get one more. The chaser. Oh, so either they're going to be chasing you or you're going to be chasing them. But it's time to close this cycle. Because someone is, is fearing abandonment. Someone needs to work on their childhood issues due to abandonment. Someone could have... Uh, abandonment issues for sure which is why someone is becoming the chaser if it's no equal give and take if the person is not giving in to you as much as you're giving it to them then you need to pull away let go or this person needs to pull away and let go of you it's time to close out the cycle all right, but that is all, Aquarius. Um, I will be live tonight for question and answers. Tune in um, to get a question and answer for a donation price or to win a game to get a question and answer. Um, that will be between 7 and 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. See you later. If not, until next time.